Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great and are loving life in lockdown because I know I am. So today I'm going to do a video that has been requested by Holly Gardner. So this video is for you, Hon. I'm going to be doing a review on the Jamie Genevieve 50% Darker U-Tan tanning water. Spoiler alert, I have already been using this since the last video that I did on this one, which I don't really like to be honest because it's not 50% darker but I love this one and this is 50% darker so if you want a darker tan get this one because this is phenomenal and worth your money 100%. All right, so for the sake of this review, I'm gonna be doing some comparisons between the 50% Darker and the original. These are both by Jamie Genevieve. Okay, so the original packaging has a lid that looks like this, if you can see it. Okay, so it's got a nice gold lid, but unfortunately, this bit goes all disgusting once you use it for some reason. I don't know why, but it just does. I do recommend this if you want a face tanner that doesn't clog your pores and give you them mean black dots or just, yeah. If you have complicated skin, I used to have the worst dermatitis on my face and I could not for the life of me use a normal fake tan on my face because it would cling to the dry spots, which was a lot of dry spots on my face. So it would look like I'd had massive dark tan around my nose, on my forehead, etc. This does not do this. So if you've got dry skin or a skin condition that involves dry skin or something it's not going to cling to your dryness or whatever it's going to give you a nice even application which is why I love this so much and I would 100% recommend it on to the 50% darker this is definitely darker this actually matches my Bondi Sands ultra dark very very well and it does build up to a great color this one will do it anyway but obviously you need less when you do this and i absolutely rate this 100 percent and i'm going to show you in this video obviously it develops in four to six hours i think i might do a check-in in about four hours and then i'll do another check-in tomorrow because it is getting a bit late now and you know we need to go to sleep well i don't I'm gonna go play Animal Crossing, so I might do an update at like two o'clock in the morning, but we shall see. So, first layer. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the bottle lid thing on this is a hell of a lot better. It's changed to a lilac lid and it's just, you know, plastic. It doesn't have like a painted coat, so it doesn't ruin. Okay, so let me just get a move on. Whew. Okay, so the fragrance is still the same. Obviously, it's still that nice Scottish lavender smell. Some people like, some people don't. I don't mind it. I think that's pretty much all I've got to say about it right now. So, like I said, I'll come back in about four hours to do my first check-in. And then I might do another layer just to see what we can build up from it. I'll see you then. Okay, so it's now the next day and this is what the tan looks like on my face. As you can see, I am not like Casper the Ghost anymore. I actually look like I've got a bit of colour to me. I didn't end up doing my check-in last night because my boyfriend does night shift at the moment. Hashtag key worker. So yeah, it's probably better I've done it this way anyways so you can see how it looks when it's fully developed. I am gonna do a, another spritz. This time I'm gonna do it a little bit more generously just so you can see. Oh, well it would help if I'd actually picked up the right spray. I hope I picked up the right spray. Um yesterday but we'll soon see so i'm gonna leave it a good four to six hours four to six hours and i will come back this time to see exactly what it looks like after that time okay so i'm back it's been five hours now i think roughly and my hands and my face are now the same colour. It's an incredibly good tan. I'm just gonna pop in some clips to show side by side the comparisons of each tan at its developing stages. So obviously I'm gonna show when I had no tan on, one layer of tan on, and now what I look like currently. In conclusion, I highly, highly rate this product. I absolutely love it. If you are a tanning fanatic and you really take pride in what your face tan looks like, 
don't hesitate to buy this. Also, you tan if you're watching this video, feel free to sponsor me. I would absolutely love that, but you know, I'll be waiting. <laughs> so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a comment, a like, subscribe to my channel if you like what you see but if you've got any video requests please let me know and i'll be sure to do them like i have with this one and i might even give you a mention in my video if you leave a suggestion all right that's it bye for now